Yo, what's up, swag? And you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Keon Lara, a.k.a. K.L. Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, this is a special video, man. You already know, man. This is T.B. Yeah. T.B.S. I said yes, my dumb ass. Anyways, man, this is the official 2021 NFL Power Rankings. Week 7, man. Edition, man. Shout out to TBS, man, for the video, man. Let's get into it, man. You're going to see a lot of teams of, I guess, his prediction. He's going to win or lose. And my prediction as well, man, because I feel like I'd be right majority of the time. So, look, man, let's get into it, bro. All right. All right. Another week, another power round. Let's ranking. see. Lots of twists and turns. Some twists and turns. But things are definitely beginning to take. Okay, Stewie. The Cardinals make a major statement through six games. It's clear. They're the best team in the NFL. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Week six of the 2021 NFL season is in the books. Some notable changes in the top 10 and a new number 32. They is undefeated. Week seven edition of the power rankings. Number 32, Detroit Lions. Last time's ranking, 31. The Lions are the only winless team remaining, so they're an easy place to start things off. Even True. after Dan Campbell's teary press conference, the players still came out with a very uninspiring home effort against the Cincinnati Bengals in Week 6. And Damn. it all starts with Jared Goff. Rookie Panay Sewell hasn't been great either, with four sacks and five penalties allowed per pro football focus. Damn. Number 31, Houston Texans. Last time's ranking, 30. Well, the Texans are among the least surprising teams of 2021. That is, they're just as awful as everyone expected them to be. On the bright side, rookie Davis Mills is showing some potential despite a lackluster supporting cast. But it's hard to imagine the Texans sticking with him beyond this season, especially with a top five pick in next year's draft all but wrapped up at this point. Number 30, yeah, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Last time's ranking, 32. The Jaguars finally got their first win of the season. And it also happens to be their first win since and they beat the Dolphins, which is crazy. Campaign. That's a 20 It's embarrassing, man. My Pistons lost to them finished. over a damn fumble. Sure, they only beat up a banged-up one-win Miami Dolphins team on a last-second field goal. But given how brutal the first five weeks have been, Urban Meyer and company will take this. Now, let's see if they can build off it. Number 29, Miami Dolphins. Last time's ranking, 28. Tua Tagovailoa looked fine in his return, albeit against a bad Jacksonville defense, but Miami just couldn't survive all the injuries in the loss to Jacksonville. And there's not much time to mope around. The 1-5 yeah. Dolphins don't even have a bye week, even though they just played in London. Instead, they're coming back home to face the Atlanta Falcons this Sunday. Now is probably a good time to remind everyone that the Philadelphia Eagles own Miami's 2022 first-rounder, which looks poised to be a top-five pick. Number 28, New York Jets. Last time's ranking, 29. The Jets are on the bye week following their week five loss to Atlanta and London. They only oh. move up a spot because the Dolphins were that bad. But that's not really worth celebrating, now is it? Up next, the Jets visit the New England Patriots. A team yeah, we're going to beat that ass. Week 16 of the 2015 season. Zach Wilson threw four interceptions in week two. We're going to beat that ass. Defense. Let's hope he's better prepared this time around. Number 27. He's not ready John. for us. Last time's ranking, 27. Yes, they were blown out 38-11 to by the Los Angeles Rams at home. The defense was atrocious, and Daniel Jones racked up the turnovers. But let's be honest, who didn't expect this? At this point, you have to think we're seeing the end of the Jones, Judge, and Gettleman era in New York. Number 26, Atlanta Falcons. Last time's ranking, 26. The Falcons were also on a bye, and we don't want to get too carried away here, but they're just half a game out of the final wild card spot in the NFC. And the one win Dolphins and slumping Carolina Panthers are up next on their schedule. Calvin Ridley is back. I don't know who's winning that Falcons game. Falcons take advantage and insert themselves into the playoff picture. Number 25, Washington football team. Last time's ranking, 25. For three quarters, it looked like Washington might drop the Kansas City Chiefs to two and four on the year. Then Patrick Mahomes rebounded. The Washington D imploded, and the Kansas City defense prevented any other oh heroics. And so Washington is now two. A Washington D is not that good. The first in the NFC East. A wild card spot is their only realistic path to the postseason, and even that seems like a pipe dream right now. Number twenty-four, Philadelphia Eagles. Last time's ranking twenty-two. 
The Eagles made the Damn, so they went down. to the defending champions by just six points. An admirable effort by Jonathan Gannon's defense. But Jalen Hurts' accuracy issues and the lack of playmakers on offense led to a second consecutive loss. Yeah, that's true. That's it's true. It's starting to look like Hurts may not be the long-term answer here. He couldn't get much of anything going against the NFL's worst pass defense. With yeah. two possible top ten picks. Jalen Hurts kind of tripping, man. They may want to consider taking another shot at drafting their next franchise QB. Number 23, Seattle Seahawks. Damn. Last time's ranking, 18. Gotta credit Geno Smith and the Seahawks for really hanging in there. But we knew this team would be fighting an uphill battle so long as Russell Wilson is out of the lineup. The overtime loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers dropped Seattle to 2-4 and four on the year. Pete Carroll says the team has talked to Cam Newton, but unless he can play defense, it's hard to see him improving this team much, if at all. Number 22, Indianapolis Colts. Last time's ranking, 24. As expected, the Colts took care of business at home, home against a lowly Houston team. They are 2-4 and, four and, four and very, very much alive, alive in the in race for the totally top. winnable AFC South. The Colts will visit the struggling San Francisco 49ers in Week 7, followed by tilts with the division nah, Colts ass. and struggling Jets and Jaguars. So if they can run the table over these next four weeks, we could be talking about them as a legit contender once again. Number 21, New England Patriots. Last time's ranking, 19. Damn, we, well, Tom we Brady went down. Is really starting to run away with the uh, who meant more bro, we should have won that dynasty game. arguments. Bill Belichick's defense bro, if we would have had Gilmore, bro, we would have won that awful game. Awful against the explosive Dallas Cowboys unit. Yeah, bro, we was getting killed. After the Pats barely survived the one-win Texans. Mac Jones looks all right. There's certainly potential there. But bro, the it's the defense. It's the, the, the DBs. The team. And yet they sit at two and four through six games for the second straight season. Number 20, San Francisco 49ers. Embarrassing, Last man. time's ranking, 21. Considering all the injuries amid a three-game losing skid, the 49ers' bye came at the perfect time. It's a wide-open race for the final two wildcard spots in the NFC. Given the 49ers' overall talent, you have to like their chances more than, say, the Chicago Bears and Minnesota Vikings. But that's only if the 49ers find their groove on both sides of the ball. The wow. schedule doesn't get any easier, though, starting with a home tilt this Sunday against the resurging Colts. Number 19, Denver Broncos. Last time's ranking, 17. Yeah, they playing Why terrible. did some of us think the Broncos might be for real following their three- I thought they was going to actually be good, the Giants, but they playing terrible. Jaguars, and Jets. Whoop-dee-doo, big deal. Whoop-dee-doo. Sure enough, the Broncos are back to point five hundred after playing some competent teams. Teddy Bridgewater suddenly can't protect the football, and this stingy defense isn't so stingy anymore. Boy, do they miss Bradley Chubb. Number 18, Chicago Bears. Last time's ranking, 16. The Bears' defense kept Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams in check for most of the game. But okay. they just couldn't contain the rushing attack. And in the end, Justin Fields just couldn't keep pace. The, hell? the good news is their defense still has them in the wild card hunt. So, anything is possible. Streaming yeah. Plus channel they can still go to playoffs. A year. Wild card, I meant. Try it free. So they got an amazing defense. Number 17, Carolina Panthers. Last time, Trash. 13. Broncos and Panthers fans can cry together. Both teams enjoyed perfect 3 and 0 starts, but defensive breakdowns and costly turnovers have moved the two clubs back to point 500. Sam Darnold is turning back to the Jets version of himself. Christian McCaffrey is out for several more games. So, uh, yeah, it's time Damn, to Yeah, Christian McCaffrey stay hurt. Number 16, Pittsburgh Steelers. Last time's ranking 20. That was a potential season-saving overtime win over Seattle, thanks to the heroics of T.J. Watt. Ben Roethlisberger has looked decent in consecutive wins. That, that was just straight and Harris is developing into Gino Smith player, folded, bro. He's Pittsburgh's sold. Pittsburgh's opportunistic defense that is once again leading the charge. The Steelers now enter a bye before they visit the banged-up Cleveland Browns in Week 8. Then they host the Bears and Lions. So, yeah, things are looking up for Mike Tomlin's <laughs> club. Number 15, Minnesota Vikings. Last time's ranking Damn. 23. This is a big time jump for the Vikings. Who the have Vikings? won three of their I didn't last know that. Four. What's and their they record? Think? They were just a couple of bounces away. Are they like three and three? And one. Yes, this team and their starting quarterback have a long history of underachieving. But a healthy Dalvin Cook makes all the difference in the world. And Mike Zimmer's defense has enjoyed a significant turnaround following a horrific 2020 showing. Number 14, Cleveland Browns. Last time's ranking, nine. 
That's now two straight losses for the Browns. The Cleveland Browns went down. With even, injuries even, once again. even if they got They're Odell Beckham. Without Jarvis Landry, Nick Chubb, Jack Conklin, and Jedrick Wills Jr. Ooh. Now, Kareem Hunt and Jeremiah owusu koromoa are out for multiple weeks. Odell Beckham and Baker Mayfield are banged up. They'll try playing through the injuries, but it won't be easy on a short week as the Browns host the Broncos on Thursday night. The depth of this team will be tested over the coming weeks, to say the least. Number 13, Cincinnati Bengals. Last time's ranking, 14. Time to take the Bengals seriously. Destroying the Lions was expected, but it was still great to see them bounce back after their heartbreaking loss to the Packers last week. Joe yeah. Burrow and Jamar Chase are something else. It's as if they're still on LSU playing against college secondary. That is games, crazy. But it's a defense that deserves more respect. They're only allowing 18.5 points per game, and free agent signing Trey Hendrickson has 5.5 sacks already. Looks like his 2020. 20 breakout year wasn't a mirage after which is actually good number 12 new orleans saints last time's ranking 10 sean payton's mm. entered the bye week with a three and two record they're at worst a playoff contender but what if they defeat the bucks at home in week eight they're not beating the bucks like that brady and they're company not. will have some serious competition for the nfc south for now their focus not is happening. on the russell wilson less seahawks whom new orleans will face off against on monday night they're not beating number the bucks 11, las vegas raiders Last time's ranking, 15. That was a statement win for the Raiders. All the distractions and John Gruden drama couldn't stop Derek yeah, that was a good win. offense, which lit up the Broncos' defense for 34 points. Major congratulations to Rich Bisaccia on winning his first game as a head coach. And guess what, Raiders fans? The Eagles are next, then a bye, then a road game. Yeah, I still didn't even talk about John Gruden, two bro. Is looking like a, real a lot of people said it's not true. City. Number 10, Kansas City Chiefs. Last time's ranking, 12. They survived a scare against Washington and are back to point five hundred. The next five contests are at Titans versus Giants versus Packers at Raiders and versus Cowboys. There's mm. four legitimate playoff contenders in that stretch. So we'll really find out what the Chiefs are made of. Are what the hell was that? <laughs> the AFC or just another victim of the Super Bowl finalist hangover? Number nine, Los Angeles Chargers. Last time's ranking, seven. A humiliating loss to the Ravens, coupled with wins by the Chiefs and Raiders, and it's safe to say that Week 6 couldn't have gone much worse for Brandon Staley's club. The good news is their next five opponents are all .500 or worse, so we wouldn't panic too much in La La Land. Number 8, Buffalo Bills. Last time's ranking, 1. It wasn't Damn, so they went down. for the Bills. Sean McDermott put the game in his star quarterback's hands instead of taking it to overtime. And in this instance, it yeah. turned out to be the wrong call. You win some, the field, you lose some, I guess. Unfortunately, they suffered a pretty big fall here. As all the teams ahead they of them are going to be a very sneak, impressive though. wins and have equally impressive records. Number seven, Tennessee Titans. Last time's ranking, 11. They and went speaking up. Speaking of teams coming off impressive wins, how about the team that just beat those Bills? Derek Henry. This team has their full arsenal of weapons on the field. They're almost impossible to stop. 76 they yards. The best defenses in the league as we witnessed during Monday's 34-31 to 31 win. Tannehill, flag is out. Tannehill will throw down the field. Off the helmet, Julio Jones that was crazy. it. Number six, Dallas Cowboys. Last time's ranking, eight. Dak Prescott had 440 Cowboys doing amazing. yards against they the should have won that check game. coach defense. That is the most New England they have allowed won during his 22-year tenure. And Trayvon Diggs has seven interceptions on the year. Tied that is crazy. Hall of Famer Ron Woodson for the most in the Super Bowl era through a team's first six games of a season. What we're trying to say here is these Cowboys are for real. Number five, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Last time's ranking, five. The Bucks survived a scare and got past the Eagles. Hey, they're the night. same. That's three straight W's for Tom Brady and company, who continue to roll thanks to a virtually unstoppable passing game. Their secondary is a major concern, however. Wait, where's the sermon? Is all the injuries not out. doing. This then thing. again, they had that same issue last season, and uh, well, we all remember how that turned out. Number four, Green Bay Packers. Last time's ranking four. Rodgers was okay. at his best, and the Packers still got past the Bears without too many problems. That's a sign of a legitimate Super Bowl contender. We're about to see what this team can do against some tougher competition, though. After they host Washington this Sunday, the Packers visit the Cardinals, and then the Chiefs. Number three, Which is not bad. Los Angeles Rams. I like the Rams. Ranking, three. I love Jalen Rams. the Giants, the Rams will now <laughs> take on the Lions and Texans. 
Seriously, did the Rams' front office get to make their own schedule this season? Those are two guaranteed wins right there. Hope all That's your true. folks still have them in your survivor pools. Number two, Baltimore Ravens. Last time, mm. three, six. They went up. Yet another statement victory for the Ravens. They annihilated the Chargers six days after they see the playoffs. Come back against the Colts on Monday Night Football. And this team also has a week two win over the Chiefs on their resume. Lamar Jackson is proving to be an elite passer, which is scary because he's already the game's best rushing quarterback by a landslide. Number one, Arizona Cardinals. Last time's ranking. Number two. one? Okay, Damn. There shouldn't be any more doubting the Cardinals, even without Chandler Jones. I ain't gonna lie because they undefeated, bro. Pummeled the Browns. Two They're playing amazing right the now. The Rams on the road. This offense has so many playmakers that they can't even get them all on the field at the same time. And now they added Zach Ertz in a trade. Yeah, Zach Ertz Sorry is a for big doubting asset. you, Arizona, and taking you out of the top spot last week. Wait, who did the Eagles please, get? Please forgive us. We just want to make things right. Who do you think is the NFL's best team through six Damn. weeks? Join us in the comment section below. Hey, man, who did the Eagles get? If the Cardinals got Zach Ertz from the Eagles, who did the Eagles get? Like... That's crazy, bro. They should have kept Zach Ertz. That's that's stupid, man. But anyways, man, you guys let me know down below what you guys think as well.